Uh, thank you, Chairman, for your kind introduction. Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm very happy to show you the, the live surgery. Uh, today, I want to show you a very nice instrument, uh, which is the sinus graft kit. Uh, let me uh, introduce the live surgery case. Okay, the topic of the live surgery is each si sinus bone graft using the cast and the last kit. Okay, this is the patient who is the 35 years old male patient. Generally, he is healthy. And he missed the right uh, second molar, left uh, first premolar, uh, and left uh, two molars. Uh, he extracted the teeth uh, uh, last year, uh, September and October. In the panorama radiograph, you can see that the, the remaining bone height on the right side seems uh, about 5 mm. And the residual alveolar bone height uh, in the left side seems 3 to 4 mm. So the patient requires uh, some uh, sinus bone graft. The right lower second molar is extruded, so occlusal clearance is not so much. And uh, in CT view, uh, you can see that the relatively healthy sinus, although the sinus membrane is slightly thickened, it is, the, it is within the normal limit, so I don't care. And uh, the thickness of lateral wall seems uh, uh, 1 or 1.5 millimeter. This is my treatment plan. First, uh, right side, I want to access the sinus with a crystal approach using the casket, and uh, I will place one. Uh, wide implant. And the left side, uh, uh, I'll access to the sinus with a uh, last kit, the lateral window approach, and then I'll place uh, uh, three implant. Actually, uh, this is my first plan, uh, but I found that the patient has uh, class three male occlusion, so uh, I don't need to place uh, number seven. So I'll omit number seven, and I'll place two implant. OK, uh, wish me luck. I'll start right now. OK, I uh, finished the anesthesia already. And uh, I want to start with the right side, the number seven missing site. Uh, and uh, I'll use the casket. And uh, I'll try crystal approach in this site. OK, let's start. OK, I'll make a small incision in this site. The gingiva is very thick. Okay. And okay, left turn. Okay, let's expose the alveolar bone. Well, uh, for uh, good uh, surgical field, I'll make a slight small uh, vertical incision. Usually I omit this one, but today I'll show this one. Okay, now the bone is exposed. Uh, it's relatively wide enough. And uh, uh, I'll start with the guide drill to mark the, the implant position. Uh, just mark the implant position with the guide drill. About uh, five millimeter away from number six. And the remaining bone height is about 5 mm. So I will start the 2.0 twist drill and uh, I connected uh, 4 mm, okay? 4 mm cast uh, stopper. Sometimes it is better to connect 3 mm for safety. Uh, okay, I'll try 4 mm stopper. This is a 2.0 twist drill with a 4 mm stopper. Okay. The speed of drill is about 800 RPM. And then uh, keep the stopper and change the, the drill to 2.8 cast drill. Uh, I think the bone of the patient is soft, so I'll follow the soft dish uh, protocol. So uh, next the drill is 2.8 cast drill with a uh, 4 mm stopper. Okay, let's check if the sinus flow is penetrated or not. Okay, not yet. Okay, uh, next is the final drill. Is the 3.3 cast drill with the same stopper, 4 mm stopper. 
This step just enlarged the hole. I don't advance the drill, just enlarge the hole. Okay, with the same speed. I enlarge the hole to 3.3 millimeter. Maybe uh, it is not passed yet. Okay. Then uh, I will advance the drill. So I will change the stop to 5 millimeter. Okay. With the same sight. Okay. Go. Uh, it is better to check with the 6 mm stopper with the depth gauge. Hmm. Okay, I cannot uh, touch the membrane, so I will advance the drill 1 mm more. The stopper is uh, 6 mm. Some dentists like low speed, but I like high speed RPM. Let's check with a 7 mm stopper. Uh, I think it is almost, but not perfectly uh, passed. So I will use the 7 mm stopper. This is 7 mm stopper. Same, 3.3 uh, cast reel. Let's check. Okay, it is passed. Uh, I think it is passed. Uh, let's test the, the uh, preparation or not with the balisalva maneuver. Uh, blow, blow your nose. What's the reaction? What do you think? Blow, blow your nose. Blow, blow your nose. Blow, blow your nose. Okay, uh, because of translation. <laughs> okay. Blow your Blow, blow. Okay, it is not perforated. So, uh, it is not perforated and the sinus fluid passed. So, uh, next step is to detach the membrane with the hydraulic lifting system. Here I prepared the uh, 2.0 cc normal cell line uh, with the membrane uh, lift system and uh, hold the uh, membrane lifter with the mosquito and uh, with a firm uh, pressure seal the hole. And then uh, in inject the po uh, cell line 0.5 cc slowly and uh, pull out. You can see that the successful membrane detachment, uh, the, the color of the solution is changing reddish. It means that the membrane successfully detached without perforation. I'm gradually increasing the uh, amount of solution, 0.5, 1.5 cc, and retrieval. And then uh, I'll inject the, the total solution. I think it's very successfully detached. Good. Now the sinus flow is passed, uh, and the membrane is uh, safely, widely detached. Uh, so next step is uh, bone grafting. Uh, I'll connect the 7 mm stopper to the uh, bone condenser like this. Uh, for safety, we ha it's better to con condense the, uh, use the condense with the uh, stopper. Okay. Here is the bone carrier. Let's carry the bone material and then insert through the hole. I'm using the uh, BIOS. How much bone is required in this case? Uh, I passed the sinus flower with a 7 mm stopper. It means that uh, the remaining bone height is about 6 mm. And I will place uh, 10 mm implant, 10 mm length implant, so amount uh, required uh, to cover the implant is 4 mm. So I, I, I have to elevate at least the 4 mm sinus flow. In my experience, uh, to elevate the uh, sinus flow 1 mm, the amount of grout material 
required about 0.2 cc. Theoretically, sometimes when sinus flow is narrow, we only uh, use the one uh, 0.1 cc to elevate one millimeter. But uh, during the procedure, usually we uh, lost uh, some amount of grout material, and some patient has wide sinus flow. So basically, uh, safely, I like to use 0.2 cc to elevate one millimeter. In this case, uh, I have to elevate four millimeter, so uh, I will graft about 0.8 cc. Okay. Well, uh, bone grafting procedure is not uh, uh, convenient in the crystal approach bone grafting. As you see, uh, I have to insert the graft material through the small hole. Uh, so it requires multiple proceeds. It's not convenient. Anyway, it's successfully done. And I'll place 10 millimeter, 4.5 by 10 millimeter. In molar site, it's better to place wide diameter, at least 4.5. Uh, I like to use 4.5 uh, by 10 millimeter length implant in uh, crestal percent lift and replace the molar tooth. I think it's, it is almost uh, enough, almost enough. Then, uh, I will uh, place the implant. In these days, uh, some dentists suggest no bone graft when bone height is more than 7 mm. I also think so. Uh, even without bone graft material, we can uh, make some amount of bone. And when the remaining bone height more than 7 mm was 7 mm, even without bone graft, usually the implant can be survived. Okay, the bone graft is finished, uh, so I'll place the uh, implant. Here is uh, uh, Ostem's TS3 SA 4.5 by 10 millimeter implant. Okay, the speed is uh, 35 uh, RPM, and uh, I'll place the implant. Irrigation, please. Okay. Open, please. Okay. 통역 해줘 여기 와서. Light close, please. Close. Slightly close. Light close. Light, 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 light close. Okay, I checked the pass. Okay, it's good. Okay, good. Uh, open, please. Okay, let me finish. Talk about it. Okay, talk is weak. Uh, I think the, the bone density of this patient is relatively weak, so the final torque is not so high. Anyway, I'll, I will submerge this the fixture uh, because the, the opposing dentition, uh, the opposing tooth is uh, elongated, so occlusal clearance is not so good, so better to submerge it. Okay, I'll control the depth uh, with the fixed driver. Okay. Connect to the fixed drive and finish the depths. Okay, cover screw, please. Okay, I'm connecting the cover screw. You see, my assist always uh, protect the drive, not to drop. Okay, connect the cover screw with the light force. Open, please. Okay, irrigation. Let me check. Okay, right side is all almost finished. Okay, I think it's well done. And let's close the flap. Uh, you see that the casket is very uh, safe and uh, uh, straightforward. I always feel very comfortable using the casket uh, because I can avoid the melting and uh, the casket is very safe and very speedy to penetrate sinus flow. And uh, uh, the hydro lifting system is also a very nice uh, device to detach the membrane. 
Just with osteotom, we cannot detest the membrane as we want. Uh, but with a cast drill, the hydrolytic system, we can sufficiently separate the membrane. That makes the broad and wider contact of grafted material, which facilitated the newborn formation. Open, please. 잘안 보여. 실이 안 보여. 오케이. Okay. Hold, please. 잡아줘. 4, 0, 5, uh, I'm using 405 nylon. I like this switch material. It's very clean and uh, the tissue reaction is very nice. Left turn. Okay, let's finish. This is my last stitch. Hold. Okay. Now uh, I finished the right side. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. Cool. Now I'll try the lateral window approach to the lateral side. Open, please. Uh, right turn. Right, much as you I'll make an incision from the posterior side. Uh, Posterior vertical lateral to uh, crestal incision, slightly lingually placed uh, crestal incision. And uh, it's better to use the number 15 surgical mass to make a vertical incision and in anterior side. Yeah. Use good instrument. Uh, I like to use the P24G Peristyle Elevator. Is this a very fine instrument? Uh, wait a second. Right on. Right on. Okay. Okay, I exposed the, the lateral window, lateral side wall, and uh, I think vertical osteotomy, uh, uh, vertical incision is not enough. I'll make more long uh, vertical incision. Okay, close. Now I'll use the last kit to open the lateral window. First, I want to draw the, the uh, outline of the uh, sinus. What's the Close, please. Okay. Okay, this is the. Okay, I can see the, the panel radiograph, and the remaining wall height seems like this. Bone uh, is not so much. It looks like this. Uh, and I will make one window here. Here. And if needed, one more. But I will place only two implants because of the class 3 male occlusion. I need only two implants. Uh, I think I can make uh, bone one bone window. When uh, multiple implant case, sometimes I have to make multiple window. But this time, uh, I think one uh, window is enough. Here I prepared the last kit. Last kit. This is uh, the seven uh, quad drill, not dome drill. He, this is the seven millimeter quad drill, and uh, I connected the one millimeter stopper. Okay, and the speeder uh, is uh, a high speed RPM. Okay, like this, uh, like this. All right, let's try here. With a firm fixation, let's grind the sinus wall. Hmm. I think the wall is relatively thick, so one millimeter is not enough. So I'll change the stop to 1.5 millimeter. Okay, like this. 
and I'll advance the last reel. Let me see. You can see that the grayish discoloration around the osteotomy site. So I'll try to fracture out. As you see, it's very easy to open the lateral wall. Okay, it was successfully detached. Let me separate the membrane. Usually, I recommend you to use the uh, membrane separator as initial uh, tool. Okay, with this one, simply you can uh, detach the periphery of the sinus wall. Like this, uh, you can simply detach the periphery. And then, with the membrane elevator, you can carefully detach the membrane. Be careful not to uh, damage the membrane. And uh, you must uh, touch the sinus floor always. Okay, touch the sinus floor. Okay, this is anterior. Okay, it's better to hold the retract by myself. Okay, let's go to the distal side. I can insert the instrument distally. So even the hole is relatively small, I can detach the all the part of sinus. Here I detaching the, the medial wall, and this is the interior wall. I think it's successfully detached. Yes. Okay, uh, breathe. Sunkuishiba, sunkuishiba. Breathe, breathe. Uh, okay, the breathe. Okay, good. It's well done. So I'll prepare, prepare the, the drilling implant site. Open, please. I'll place two implants, the five and six. Uh, so uh, let's check the, the with the support. Okay, I'll make uh, uh, implant position. Okay. This guy drill. Okay, this is about uh, four to five millimeter away from number four. This is number five, uh, premolar, second premolar site. And the molar site is uh, here, around here. Okay, let me check the last position. Close, close, open. Okay, it's good. Carefully uh, advance the drill until you penetrate the sinus floor. The anterior bone is uh, relatively sufficient. The posterior molar site. Okay, bone is not enough. Let me check the pass of implant here. This parallel pin to check the implant position and the direction. Okay, close please, close. Okay, not bad. Open please. Okay, I'll enlarge the hole. Open please. Well. Hmm, 4.0 and here. Uh, bone is uh, uh, normal density in this site. Okay. Uh, let's grab the material. Here I prepared the bios also. And uh, let's uh, grab uh, not this one. Okay, this one is better. Well, the syringe type grafting uh, material is better, but here is the just by us, uh, and I will push the graft material inside of the sinus. This one here and here. Here, Ginga. Here, Ginga. Here, Ginga. Okay. I think uh, not so much graft material required.
especially primolaria, the bone height is more than uh, 7 mm. And the sixth site, molar site, the bone height is about 3 to 4 mm. Uh, uh, in fact, I like uh, allogenic uh, bone graft material, but uh, it is not available in Taiwan, so I'm using the BIOS. Okay. Well, in the last kit, not only this uh, core drill, but uh, we have the dome drill. Dome drill is a grinding tool. Uh, I prefer this uh, uh, core drill because I can save the bone window. Mm -hmm, almost, almost. Let's make a little more, more graft. Almost. Okay. And uh, almost finished. Right hand. I think it's enough. It's enough, so I will uh, place two implants. It open wrench connection and disconnect, and again lightly close. Okay. Let's place. This is uh, TS3SA 4.0 Zero by ten millimeter. Open, Open please. Okay. Talk is not bad. Uh, uh, close. Okay, good. Open please. I think talk is very nice. One more. Yeah, this is 4.5 by 10 millimeter. Do not insert the, f the full depth and check the pass first. Uh, close, light close. It's good. Open, please. Then finish. And uh, do not make a full depth installation. Close, please. Looks very nice. Uh, open, please. Then uh, remove the mount. Uh, and the final depth uh, uh, is better to control with uh, the depth, uh, the fixed driver here. This is the fixed driver. The torque seems uh, around uh, 30 newton centimeter. Well, uh, sometimes you can finish uh, uh, with one stage surgery. Let me check the, the insertion torque of this one. Not bad, actually. Uh, I think we can uh, connect the healing abutment in this uh, situation. Well, the position of the implant is slightly, slightly buckle. I think so. Well, how long? Well, actually, I think it's not bad. Close. It's not bad. But uh, if you, uh, if I think about this position, the ideal position is slightly palatal side. Open, please. It's slight to buckle. Actually, usually I don't do this. Uh, I can I can finish the case uh, connecting cover screw and close it. Then it's okay. But I want to show uh, how to change the position of implant. I am not satisfied this position. It's slightly buckle and slightly to anterior. I will remove this one and uh, let me show how to change the position of implant. Okay, mount. It is not uh, mandatory, but uh, let me show. 
retrieve. I will retrieve the fixture. And I'll keep this implant. And uh, with a side cut drill, I'll move the position. To slight uh, distal and the palatal side. Well, uh, you may worry about the, the initial stability if, if I change the position. Let me try. Mm -hmm. If the torque is not so good, I'll submerge the fixture. Okay, let's try. I place again. Slide lingually and distally. How about talk? Okay. Close, please. Okay, good. Open, please. Talk is around the 10 Newton centimeter. Fixed drive. Suction, please. I can finish the case uh, with a healing abutment or cover screw. Uh, for safety, it's better to uh, connect the cover screw. So here I connecting the cover screw. Okay, one more. I will reposition the bone window. Close. Close, please. Close. Okay. Here, I can uh, reposition the bone window. Instead of membrane, uh, we can use the bone window. Like this. Okay. Okay. Let's close the flap. Open, Open please. Right turn. Okay, first, uh, uh, hold the corner. Uh, next, I'll close the vertical line. Uh, you see, uh, my assist is uh, uh, retracting the, retract the parallel with the incident line. So it is easy to close this area and uh, she's continuing the suctioning to make good surgical field. Okay. Test, test the mucosa carefully not to tear and okay uh, during the suturing uh, hold the thread very close to the, the incision line like this. Uh, do not make too long uh, thread holding uh, like this. This is not so good. This is not so good. Better is to hold uh, very closely. And the double clockwise rotation and pick up the end of the thread and uh, track this side. Then it does not easily lose. Pound clockwise, clockwise. Okay, let's continue the vertical close. Okay. Okay, make a short and simple field, double clockwise, and pick up the end, and track this one side, and count clockwise, again clockwise. No, this one. Okay. 
in fact, uh, the lateral window approach science bone graft uh, require many uh, steps uh, and uh, relatively advanced surgical skills. Not only the lateral window opening, it requires uh, multiple uh, skills. So just the last kit, uh, we cannot uh, do lateral window approach. But the last kit is uh, a nice tool for safe uh, access to the membrane. Especially beginners worry about uh, the tearing of the membrane during the osteotomy. The last kit will help safe window opening. Okay, I'll use the figure of a suit in this site. This one. I'll continue to figure with sutures. Okay, one more. Okay, half close. Okay, this is the last stitchy. Okay. Okay. Irrigation. And let's finish. Can you take the radiograph? Okay. Let's take the radiograph. Okay. Thank you for your attention. Hello, doctors. Uh, uh, I'm back uh, to show the, the result of my live surgery. Okay, in the, uh, this panel of radiograph, uh, you can see that the right side, I tried the signs lifting with the, the casket. And I think uh, uh, it's not obvious, but there's some dome-shaped dome bone grafting in the apex of the implant. And the uh, left side, I tried the lateral window approach with the last kit. And uh, I think the amount of graft material was uh, uh, 0.4, uh, 0.8 cc. So, so it's a little bit much grafting. Uh, well, I think the position of the implants are not bad. And uh, uh, I, 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 I uh, uh, expect to perform second stage surgery uh, about five or six months later. Uh, because of a nice uh, surgical kit, the surgery was successfully finished. Okay, thank you very much.